Aries, it's Dana with Taurus Star Tarot, and we are about to do a reading for your sign today. As per usual, this is not a reading for you. This is a reading for a general collective with the sun sign, moon sign, Venus sign, rising sign, any sign that's in your chart that has to do with Aries. This may or may not resonate with you. If it does, that is awesome because that means the cards are speaking directly to you today. If it doesn't, that's okay too. It's just not your turn. I highly recommend that you cross watch the other signs in your chart because your sun sign, which today is Aries, is how you receive information from the world. Your moon sign is how you process that information. Your ascending sign is how you output that information. Your Venus sign is how you give and receive love. And then there's Mercury and Mars and all that good stuff too. There's a link in the box below that will take you to a free unaffiliated website where you can download your astrological birth chart and it will tell you the placement of the planets on the day and the time that you were born, which makes up the different aspects of your personality. It's really awesome. I highly recommend that you do that. Cross-watching your other signs and these free general readings will give you a more comprehensive perspective about the events that are unfolding in your life. All right, that being said, if you would like a personal reading from me, you can hit me up at TaurusStarTarot.com and 40 bucks will hook you up just like this, just for you, just for your particular situation. Use the YouTube promo code of YouTube 2019 and you'll get 10 bucks off of a reading. What else? Um, I think that's it. Let's just jump right in and get straight to the point. All right. Aries, first card out is the King of Wands. This is you. This is you sitting in your power, right? The King of Wands is fire energy and this is the King of Passion. This is Aries in this reading. Now, granted, if this was a Sagittarius reading or a Leo's reading, this could represent Leo. But today, right now, in this reading for Aries, this represents you. Sitting in your power like a badass, right? Like a badass. The next card out is indecision. So Aries is indecisive about something, confused, at a crossroads. I think that's more, I think that's more of what's going on here, at a crossroads. At a crossroads about putting an offer on the table. At a crossroads about, about manifesting a new opportunity with somebody or something. Not only at a crossroads about putting an offer on the table, but at a crossroads about accelerating that offer, okay? Aries just doesn't want to put a little pinnacle offer, right? He doesn't want to come as a page. He wants to come with action. And Aries has zero problem taking action, right? You guys are the action card. You're the freaking ram for God's sakes, right? You climb mountains for your life, right? No worries taking action for the Aries. So he's Aries, he, she, it. <laughs> Aries is at a crossroad about putting an offer on the table. But they don't just want to put any old offer on the table. They want to put an offer that has some money behind it. They want to put an offer on the table that has some action, right? So you're at a crossroads about taking action in regards to uh, manifesting, um, in regards to planning your future. In regards to putting an offer on the table that is that revolves around planning for your future this has you in hermit mode right card of virgo may mean something may not um but it has you doing some soul searching right some introspection being alone for a minute looking looking for some inner guidance some inner guidance and the moon card clarifies that you're looking for clarity you're looking to make sure that all that glitters is gold and that this is the right decision for you to make. This page of swords right here says that you have something to tell somebody. The page of swords is, is, is snappy, quick communication. Could be in a text message, an email. It's definitely not a huge long telephone conversation, but you definitely want to say something to somebody. You want to say something to somebody in your past 
in regards to reconciling or reuniting with them. What you want to talk about is being left out in the cold. Somebody leave you out in the cold, Aries. No, 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 no. You don't do that to my Aries. You can come over here. I'll, keep, I'll, I'll let you in the warm house, Aries. No way. So the communication that you want to communicate <laughs> is um, about being left out in the cold. You want to talk about reuniting and reconciling with somebody that has either left you out in the cold before or somebody that you have left out in the cold. Now, I do believe the last reading for Aries was all about making a decision between, was it between two queens, I think it was? And one of them you left out in the cold in pursuit of the other and it didn't work out and you had massive regret about that. So perhaps this is touching on that right there. Don't know. Could go either way, right? Either you left somebody out in the cold or they left you out in the cold. But you definitely want to talk to somebody. You want to talk about reconciliation and reunion with somebody where one of y'all was left out in the cold in the past. So it's going to take some strength, right? So it's going to take some strength because you have some conflict about this. You have some inner conflict going out, going on. You, you, you're kind of at odds with yourself and you're really not quite sure what to do with yourself. So the emperor comes in and clarifies this for us and says authority, control, establishment, and structure. This is Aries. This is the actual real card of Aries, the emperor. So, so it's going to take some strength because you have conflict, but you're going to use that strength. The card of Leo, by the way, I don't know if that means anything to you. You're going to use that strength to, to conquer this inner conflict. And you're going to gain control of yourself. You're going to have authority and structure in the way that you proceed forward from this point onward. The Six of Wands comes in and says just that, that you are going to have some self-confidence. You're going to have some self-confidence about your desire to communicate with this person from your past about reconciling or reuniting. Not only are you going to have some confidence, but you're going to have victory. You're going to have victory and, 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 and progress in the situation. What is this conflict over here that, you're, that, that is such a problem for you is the broken heart that was the result of this Five of Pentacles energy right here, right? That's, that's, that's the conflict that you're having. The conflict has you wrapped up in your head. Has you totally wrapped up in your head. Whether you did it to them or they did it to you, somebody's heart was broken. Somebody's heart was broken and now you are all wrapped up in your head trying to come to terms with, with, with coming forward and talking about this with this person. But this is a self-imposed restriction, right? can't see the forest through the trees, overthinking things way too much. But it's short-lived. It's short-lived, Aries. It's short-lived. What you are, are all wrapped up in your head about right here is, like I said, the broken heart. And you can't seem to move. You can't seem to move. You're, you're, you're so caught up in this Eight of Swords mental imprisonment that you can't seem to move. This guy, he's got the four pentacles, right? One under each foot, one across his chest, one above his head. If he moves in any way whatsoever, he is going to risk losing one of those pentacles. It's either going to fall off his head, he's going to drop it, or they're going to scoot out from underneath his feet and some little beggar is going to come grab it, right? So he's stuck. He's stagnant. He can't seem to move because he's in his head. He, I keep saying he, I mean, I don't know. Cause I guess it's cause it's the emperor and the emperor is Aries. And, and I mean, he's obviously masculine right there. So he, I, you could be a female Aries. I apologize. I'll try to correct that. So you Aries are all caught up in your head about this broken heart that happened from somebody being left out in the cold right there. You're so wrapped up in your head that you can't move. You can't move. But the star card comes in on top of that and says that you, you, you have hope, right? You have hope that there's faith in this relationship, that there's purpose. 
You have hope that, that there can be renewal, right? You have hope and faith that there can be purpose in the renewal of this relationship. So you want this, but man, you're stuck. You're just stuck. Get out of your head, Aries. Okay, hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. You see love. You see love here. You have love. There is love here, right? And you, you want to manifest it. You want to bring it to the forefront. You want to manifest this renewing, this reconciling and reuniting of this, with this person from your past. You really want to, but you're scared. No, you're not scared, okay? Because I've had I had a couple Aries come in and say, I ain't scared of nothing. No, you're not scared. You're you're afraid. You're afraid because you have so much inner conflict and you don't want to make the wrong decision. You really don't. You really don't. But you know, let's go back to afraid for a minute. As a as a mountain goat, right? They 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 feel things coming from a mile away. And if you run up, on a family of mountain goats, they're going to scatter, right? And that's, that's how you're feeling right here. You're feeling edgy. You're feeling like maybe you just should just go and just leave it all behind you. But yet the grass is so green and you want to nibble on it so bad, but you're maybe wanting to take off at the same time too. That's what you're feeling right here. That's what this inner conflict is, okay? So this, this love, there's love. You feel love. There's love from the other person. You know that there's love. And, and you want to manifest this and bring it to the forefront. You really do. But there's the moon card again. And this is the card of Pisces, by the way. There's that moon card again. <clears throat> this moon card says that you have, um, that, that this is a card of illusion, right? But it's also a card of seeing things clearly. It's about your subconscious mind and your intuition. You know, um, and I don't know if y'all have heard me say this before or not, but you know, you, you look, it's a full moon and you look in the backyard and there's that same old tree that's been there for 15 years, same tree, right? But the moon casts a shadow on it and you're like, what is that out there by that tree, right? You just can't really see clearly. This moon card is about reaching down into your subconscious mind and your intuition and seeing things clearly. Making sure, like I said up here, making sure all that glitters is gold. Well, this moon card, you're, you're getting some clarity now. You're getting some clarity. The seven of swords in reverse and all my cards are upright, okay? All of my cards are upright. But two of them in this reading, back to back, came out in reverse. So the seven of swords in reverse is all about breaking free. It's breaking free. Now the seven of swords upright is about betrayal, deception, and shady behavior, which has to do with this being left out in the cold, which has to do with this broken heart. But in the reverse, this car, card is about breaking free. The devil in reverse. This card is about releasing limiting beliefs. Okay, so you're breaking free. You're seeing clearly. You're breaking free. You're releasing limiting beliefs about the loss, the regret, the disappointment and despair that was attached with being left out or leaving someone out in the cold with having a broken heart or breaking somebody's heart, right? You're, you're dealing with that. You're processing it all. You're beginning to see clearly, right? You're releasing your limiting beliefs that are holding you back right here, right here, right here. <laughs> You're releasing those limiting beliefs and you're dealing with all of that. You are gaining mental clarity. You have a breakthrough, a mental breakthrough about the way that you feel and about how you're going to go forward from this point on. What are you going to do? You're going to talk. Finally, <laughs> you're going to talk about how you feel. You're going to talk about the conflict. You're going to talk about the tension and the strife and the stress. You're finally going to talk about all of it. So you can begin to have harmony in your life. 
so you can begin to have 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 harmony in your life in your relationship with this person even if you don't get back together and you know have love and hugs and unicorns in the future you're at least going to talk you're at least in a place right now where you have gathered together your feelings enough to be able to express them and have some harmony with this other individual You want to manifest a new beginning. You do. You want to. You want to manifest a new beginning. And it's interesting that this whole manifestation thing right here, manifesting with the Page of Pentacles, manifesting with the Knight of Pentacles, manifesting with the Ace of Pentacles, this is Taurus energy. I'm sorry. Back up. This is Earth energy. I'm a Taurus. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I, I discriminate. I'm sorry. This is earth energy. So perhaps you're dealing with an earth sign. In your previous reading, you were dealing with an earth sign. I believe the queen of pentacles was the one that you left out in the cold in your other reader, or, or was somehow, some way, the queen of pentacles was left out in the cold. And yeah, so anyway. Um, so manifesting a new beginning, right? Having harmony, talking about it, finally letting it, putting it all on the, on the table, right? Having harmony, manifesting some kind of new beginning, some kind of new beginning, right? Because you've made choices and decisions and you are no longer confused. There is an ending, a change, a transformation and a transition in your relationship with this person. Look, Ace of Pentacles, again, manifesting a brand new beginning. Ace of Pentacles, so death, and, and, and confusion, death to confusion, sandwiched between manifesting and new beginning. I want to point out something about, about aces real quick, because I watch a lot of tarot, right? And um, it's, it's more of a learning kind of thing for me. I actually watch it to learn how to not read tarot, honestly. <laughs> There's a lot of really good readers on YouTube. Don't get me wrong. I, do, I don't mean to disparage anybody, but there's a lot of really crappy readers on YouTube as well. My point is, my point is I watch a lot of YouTube tarot. Okay. And everybody says, pow, new beginning. Like it's like, it's like, it's an Amazon package that you unwrap and it's like, boom, new beginning. Ah, right? No, 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 no. Aces are seedlings. They're seedlings given from the universe to you because you have done the work to procure the ground by which the seedling can be planted and loved and watered and fed so it can grow into something strong and beautiful. Just because you have an ace show up, just because the ace of wands shows up doesn't mean it's an automatic, inspired, creative new beginning. No, it's the opportunity to procure a new beginning. Okay? The Ace of Cups. Is it, is it, wow, automatically, boom. No, it represents love and it represents overwhelming emotion. But it's the seedling of love to plant and grow just like this Ace of Pentacles. It's the seedling of the manifestation, manifesting. I mean, think about the way that a seed grows, right? If you want to talk about manifesting, it's paying attention to it, paying attention to it, paying attention to it, keeping the bugs off of it, right? Watering it just right, feeding it, covering it when the frost comes, right? It's, it's taking care of it. And when it finally takes root, and grows, that's when the beauty happens. Okay, so Ace of Pentacles, you, you want to manifest this new beginning really badly. You want to manifest this new beginning, right? Because you're manifesting it over here. Manifesting those love seeds right there. You're manifesting those. You're manifesting this new beginning. What are you going to do, Aries? What are you going to do? You are going to deliver passionate messages to somebody. This is a card, an action card of energy, passion, lust, action, adventure, right? 
maybe even impulsiveness a little bit because maybe you, you you screwed your courage up enough right here and and this this talking that you guys did and this manifesting that you're doing maybe you're just like you know what fuck it i'm doing it i'm doing it i'm doing it today i'm doing it now i'm doing it right now and boom you do it right or if you have some earth in your chart or something that that that, that really just kind of slows you down just a little bit this could be you just kind of kind of casually going over there and and delivering these passionate messages okay but being aries seeing as how you are fire this is a passionate message right to your queen of cups not only is this a passionate message to your queen of cups but this card also represents that at this particular time when you are delivering this message you are emotionally calm cool collected you're balanced, you're emotionally balanced, you're emotionally secure, you've been in touch with your intuition and you know that you know that you know that this is what you want to do. The nine of wands comes in and says that, that you, you, courage, right? Courage, test of faith, courage. Remember, we're building up all this courage right here. Seven of wands comes in and says, even though you feel guarded, because of, of this and this and the conflict, even though you feel guarded, you're going to go forward anyway because you feel like this is something worth fighting for. What's worth fighting for? This new beginning and a new journey with this person from your past that you want to reconcile and reunite with. That's amazing. That's a beautiful thing, Aries. That is so beautiful. I want to point out something about this fool card though. Okay. The fool, you cannot start a new beginning in your life. You cannot go out on a new journey, taking anything from the past with you. So if you really truly want a new beginning with this person from your past, if you truly want to reconcile and reunite and have a new beginning and start a new journey with this person in your life, you cannot take baggage. You cannot take this three of swords. You cannot take this eight of swords. You cannot take this conflict. You cannot take in, you cannot take indecision with you. You can't take any, you can't take the, the, the bad feelings of somebody being left out in the cold. You can't take any of it with you. You can't be immovable. You can't be stubborn. You can't take any of it with you. You have to put it all on the curb and walk away. That, my friends, is what starting a new journey is. It's not, it's not going on the same journey. It's starting a new journey. So lay it down and go in with a pure heart. A pure heart. All right, what do we got over here? Well, there's you, Aries, being all caught up in your head. What you all caught up in your head about over here? Let's just get a good look here before we go. Okay, so all of this goes on, right? And you want to start this new journey. You give passionate messages to this person because you guys have worked it out, right? You have some harmony and some peace going on now. You want a new beginning. You want a new journey right? You see, uh, you see it as something that's worth fighting for. You have the courage to go forward and do it, but ah, ah, the Nine of Swords, intense anxiety and some despair. This card is also about painful lessons. Okay. I think that this card, based on these cards, this card in this reading is a painful lesson. And I think you're a little caught up in your head, caught up in your head about the fucked up bullshit that went on in the past. You can't seem to let it go. But if you want this new journey with this person, you have to. You have to come to terms with yourself. You have to come to terms with all of this and let it go. Okay, so there's you reflecting back on this painful lesson. There's you up in your head, reconciling all of these feelings so you can start a new journey with this person. The burden of this guilt, is it guilt? 
maybe, the, but the burden of these bad feelings is too heavy to bear. It's just too heavy to bear. High Priestess says, give it to me. I'll carry it for you. Sit down with your High Priestess for a minute. Have a good, long conversation. Come to terms with whatever it is that just has you so distressed on the inside. You might be calm, cool, and collected on the outside, but on the inside, you're distressed. So whatever this is, you got to let it go. Give it to the High Priestess. She'll carry it with you. Look at her. She doesn't have a care in the world. You know why? Because she already knows. She already knows and she's, it, she's at peace, right? She has enough peace to share with you and put you at peace. So you're going to sit down with your high priestess right there and you're going to have a conversation and you're going to give this baggage to her. She's going to carry those 10 wands for you. And she's going to pull those ten, those nine swords out of your head. She's going to unbind you from these eight of swords. And you're going to be able to carry on. Reconcile it, Aries. Reconcile it. When you do that, lo and behold, there you are again, the badass self. King of Wands, you started this reading with as a badass the King of Wands, towards the end of the reading, you again present as the badass. That is you in your power, feeling like a boss. You're going to exchange some feels with somebody. You're going to exchange some feels with somebody, with this person right here. You're going to exchange feels about love, about coming together and creating a new journey and a new beginning and love with one another. This is going to be a turning point in your destiny. One life cycle is over. All of this is over. And a new life cycle from here forward is beginning, right? Something that you can plan. Oops, I got two. Ha, look at that. I didn't even know that card was in there. The uh, new life cycle, turning point in your destiny. From here forward, what's going to play out? The nine of cups. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. Now that judgment has been um, applied, right? What is, what is the judgment? The judgment is you reconciling all of this. Reconciling all of this. Finally coming out and talking about it. And seeing things from a new perspective, right? The Six of Wands. Victory. Progress self-confidence, feeling good. Six of Wands here as well, right? Ten of Pentacles, building a strong foundation for your future with this person. And the Three of Wands, planning, preparing, expanding your world. That's beautiful, Aries. That was a beautiful reading. That was awesome. Anything else, Tarot, you want to throw out here? Anything else you want to say for Aries before I close it down? Two cups. Love relationship. Love, unified love, partnership, attraction, relationships. Two of Wands, planning for your future. Whoa, not all those. What else? Anything else? I think that's all the tarot has to say for you today, my friend. I do hope that this reading helped in somehow, some way. If you would like a personal reading, you can reach me at TorahStarTarot.com. Use the promo code YouTube2019 and get $10 off a reading. Okay? All right. Love you guys. Now, I'm, Oh, look. Fool on the bottom of the deck. New beginnings and new journey. Very nice, Aries. Very nice. Namaste.